Are you looking to add some serious muscle to your physique but can't decide between protein powder and creatine? Look no further because in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the pros and cons of each supplement to help you decide which one is the best for you. First up, let's talk about protein powder. Protein is essential for muscle growth and repair, and protein powder is one of the most convenient ways to get it. Whether you're a vegetarian or a meat eater, there are plenty of options available to you. From whey protein powder to pea protein, there's a protein supplement out there for everyone. Protein powder is a great choice if you're looking to increase your daily protein intake, especially if you're having trouble getting enough from whole foods alone. Protein powder can also be a great option for those who struggle to consume enough protein throughout the day, as it is easy to add a scoop to a shake or smoothie and consume on the go. On the other hand, creatine is a naturally occurring compound found in our muscles. It's been shown to increase muscle strength, power, and size. Creatine is also great for improving athletic performance and overall recovery. If you're looking to add some serious mass and strength, creatine is the way to go. Creatine has been extensively studied and it's been found that it can increase muscle mass and strength by 5 to 10%. But what about combining the two? Well, it's important to note that protein powder and creatine work in different ways. Protein powder is great for muscle growth and repair, while creatine is great for strength and power. So, if you're looking to build muscle, a combination of both protein powder and creatine may be the best option for you. A study showed that creatine monohydrate combined with protein powder can significantly increase muscle mass and strength. It's also important to note that protein powder comes in different forms and it's important to choose the right one for your goals. For example, whey protein is a fast digesting protein that's great for post-workout recovery, while casein protein is a slow digesting protein that's great for overnight recovery. As for creatine, it's also important to note that there are different forms of creatine available, such as creatine monohydrate, creatine HCL, and creatine ethyl ester. Each form has its own unique benefits, so it's important to do your research and find the one that's best for you. So, which supplement is the best for building muscle? The answer is, it depends on your goals. If you're looking to increase your daily protein intake and build muscle, protein powder is the way to go. If you're looking to add strength and power, creatine is the way to go. And if you're looking to do both, a combination of both supplements may be the best option for you. It's important to note that before taking any supplement, you should consult with your doctor or a qualified healthcare professional to determine what is best for your individual needs. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more informative and entertaining videos on all things fitness. And remember that supplements are just that, a supplement to a healthy diet and regular workout routine. Without those, no supplement will help you achieve your goals. That's it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I will see you in the next one.